Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the situation surrounding the K3 visa. So I thought of making this video initially, I'm gonna put this on screen. This is from Our Country, Our Choice. And it's a little sort of graphic here that says, Biden offers path to citizenship to spouses of US citizens. Well, let's be clear here. Biden didn't really offer anything. The law has allowed for a path to citizenship for Amer spouses of American citizens, and it's always had a prioritization. Now, in the context of the K-3 visa, the K-3 visa is, excuse me, technically what we would call a non-immigrant visa. What are we talking about there? Well, a K-3 visa does not vest lawful permanent residence to the bearer at entry when they arrive in the United States. The K-3 visa was created during the Clinton administration under the provisions of what's called the LIFE Act, which basically was designed at a time when K-1 visas were processing in a matter of about four to six months. Meanwhile, marriage visas to the United States were taking like three years. So what they did is they created another K visa category, in this case, the K-3, and they said, hey, we're gonna go ahead and allow folks who are marrying American citizens to enter and get into the United States faster under the K category. This is an example of how throughout immigration, throughout the past, immigration policy has prioritized to a certain extent for spouses of American citizens. Now, again, the K-3 visa is not, a, it's not an immigrant visa. So those utilizing it to get their lawful permanent uh, residence status, i.e. their green card status, they have to adjust status in the United States. And then once they've adjusted, 90 days prior to the three-year anniversary of their adjustment to green card status, they're eligible to file for what's called naturalization to United States citizenship. So again, there has always been a path to US citizenship for spouses of American citizens. I don't really know why our country, our choice sort of decided to make that a priority by putting that up on their t Twitter feed. But, you know, I think the crisis at the border is far more important than worrying about the spouses, foreign or otherwise, of American citizens.